ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to this breakthrough session on incubation and disruptive pedagogies for supportive youth entrepreneurship and social innovation in higher education. As we already recognize, it is going to be presented by the Youth Economic and Innovation Program members, and um, we are simply going to get them to talk more about the tools that they actually put in place to realize the, the, the objectives, the goal of curbing the youth unemployment, as we saw well elaborated in the earlier plenary session. Just to talk a little bit about the, the, the theme of this session, uh, the UP project tried to, to see ways by which the normal traditional way higher education prepares students for career life could be disruptive to bring them to bring them to produce more economically ready graduates. We saw the statistics having more than 71 million unemployed youth across the world and still having a very, very high scholarization rate simply brought to our attention that there is a problem with the way things are being done. There is a problem with the current curriculum we use to train these students. It is our goal in higher education to prepare other entrepreneurs or professionals who are going to gain meaningful employment and better the economy of the society and community. But it is more, more, more disturbing when you get the students admitted and the student graduates, and finally you seem not to find a, a solution to, to the problem the student had at the beginning. So we share similar problems across the globe, uh, South America, Asia, Africa, even in North America. We have students who are well trained in school, who are graduated, but cannot fit into the job market. They can't have the, 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 this magical, the, I mean, the minute tool that they daily need to fit squarely into the job market. And therefore, this program came up and the presentations are going to tell us the various tools applied in the various contexts, the different contexts that we have, of course, we have a common problem, youth unemployment, but the situation in Burkina Faso is not necessarily the same in South Africa, the same here in Mexico or down in Chile. So how are the different higher institutions that are engaged in the EP project designing different means to cope their own I mean, solutions within their space? So, we will start by having a, an icebreaker trying to tell us how no matter where we come from, no matter who we are, we just need to think and try to do what we are thinking. Maybe, just maybe, we could be very successful and uh, change our lives, our economy, and our society. So I'd like to invite Marian from UV to Go on with the icebreaker. Good, good morning, good afternoon, maybe. Hello, I am Mariana from UB. Um, before I start, I ask you to share under your seat, please, where you we will find our surprise. Okay, do you already have your fortune cookie? Yes. Please now, I'm going to ask you to open the cookie and read what the destiny provides for you. Okay. Would you want to share what your fortune cookie for you? Any? Okay. Microphone here, please. Uh, thank you. Uh, mine says, if you want to do it, do it now. You will not regret it. Uh, 
What I have says, entrepreneurs and leaders deal in hope. It says here, you can't be the best in everything, but then be the best in what you do. All right, mine says, um, no matter how brilliant your mind or strategy is, if you are playing alone, you will always lose to a team. says, entrepreneurs aren't dreamers. They see opportunity where others don't, and they are calculated risk takers. No? You have a negative stain of the future. There is nothing wrong with being small. You can do great things with a team. Thank you. Any else? Mine says, if you cannot fly, run. If you cannot run, walk. If you cannot walk, crawl. No matter what you do, keep on moving forward. Mine, mine says, you are very young. You do not know what you want. Let the adults decide for you. Oh, it's so sad. <laughs> Entrepreneurs are greedy people who just want to make money. Oh, oh, it's sad too. Another sad statement. It says the great entrepreneurs did not wait for money, but true, but true dreams. Mm -hmm. oh, my sad. If you lose the size of your dreams, you cannot make it happen. Okay, thank you. Being an entrepreneur is for a people who, who did not find a job. Okay, thank you everybody. Many of the statements uh, you use read, joking, or playing, is what many of your students listen every day about their future, especially negative things. We, it is this analogy is made that the same things happen with many young people in the world assume that their role in the life is already marked by where they were born or their context that they high no alternative. The social context leads to have a conformist attitude and resignation to the role we are supposed to have or in our life. Situation that many young people like on your countries and universities, and that we all get programs we have helped to believe in their sense, their capacities, and dreams. And this, let me tell you a story. Um, a few weeks ago, I would come an entrepreneur to my office as an university, university student. She had recently learned about Emprendu Bed at the Feria International, uh, Feria International de Libro, the International University Book Fair. She told me that she had been working on sustainable tools project for ever a year. In Cuatepe, this is the municipal near to Jalapa. Helping producers and local mer merchants. And at that time, the project had grown so much that she had no idea what to do next and the she need 
guidance to take her to the project to the next level, making her formal, maybe, and sustainable. At that moment, I begin to do what we do every day in Friendly Way. Listen to entrepreneurs and give them alternative course or action so that they can move forward with their projects as well, inviting them to join our training and mentoring activities. After I finish giving her some advice, she taking me and we are joyful smile and told me, this is the first time they don't tell me that I am crazy or that I am wasting my time trying to continue my dream. To which I replied, and I said, welcome to the crazy club. <laughs> it was at the moment when I had a regression of the boom when I, 24 years old, I decided to start my own company. Inspired by the entrepreneurs with whom I have been able to spend time without the time, thanks for my job in the engagement department. Um, who spoke of their company with infinity job and love, with a regrets of having gone against the current, on the contrary, they were satisfied with themselves for what they had achieved. That's when I just decided that I want to have that. A job I was in love with. Continuing on the sales job in this university, I determined to set up my own advertising firm all I heard from family and friends was, are you sure? Why are you taking the risk? Stop playing. Get full time at work. That's for people with money. And thousands of comments like the ones read in your fortune cookie. The same comment that many of your entrepreneurs you be still to listen to. I also saw the for guidance and advising an incubation company service, which I did not like because I felt that its only purpose was to lower government funds, regardless of the entrepreneur. And so, we a group of scholars who share the same vision, we decided to propose a project called Emprendue which was working in the beginnings as any entrepreneurship. We create the side, little call, little money, and many not at the front. Until one day, the new economic participation initiative became the worst watershed in the history of the Emprendue. Thanks to the TN and the Mastercard Foundation who selected the project, the proposal from the department engagement take the shape and become a reality. Well, what is Emprendue? For me, Emprendue is a group of people who believe in the talent of the university entrepreneurs. People with empathy who listen and encourage other people to de develop their dreams. From the permanent staff to the academic and business mentor who join the program day by day. We practice what we preach with the entrepreneurs. We design workshops is aiming at developing meaningful learning through living experience from these two methods. But just provide human communication and entrepreneurial skill among entrepreneurs. Every mentoring 
sheep and advice is on equal basis. <clears throat> because we are a group of scholars who share learnings, encourage unity and companionship. This has been the case so that by the day our community entrepreneur will grow. And as we say, it's age training to our entrepreneurs. If we do not fulfill the promise that you are going to have fun and learn, we will give you your money back. We does not pay, the service is free. Emprendue has grown where currently have the participation of entrepreneurs from all the campus. The faculties and different academy areas request what we support them to carry out entrepreneurship activities. The number of entrepreneurs in training and incubation grows. We see leading youth to need challenge for having more staff in the department, having appropriate facilities, program coverage in each of the regions, and most importantly, the Emprendue of the States and nice memory by recognized in the official statute structure to consolidate this permanence. I found a job at Hara Law, which is to train emprendedors, entrepreneurs. I believe that those who are at the front of the shared same feeling. I would like to conclude my participation in each of the JP programs with different contexts, similar strategies, and extraordinary people. We share this thought. People who are crazy and not to think you can change the world are those changing. Thank you very much. Okay, thank you, Mariana. We'll just continue with the narrations by going to listen to Abdul from Burkina Faso. Everybody get uh, his voice over in French? Okay, I, um, I can try to do it in English. All right? Okay. Mm -hmm. So I'm Abdul, I'm coming from uh, TYE, an International Institute Engineering in Water and Environment. There has an uh, incubation since uh, to 2012. So I always my first day at the TYE staff, when my uh, colleague Sarah uh, sitting over there in this, in this side, she was my mentor. She says to me, Abdul, you joined the incubator staff when the during a favorite moment. I say, why do you, why, why did she say me to that? She said to me, I know what, I, what I'm saying to you, I say, why? She said to me, the story goes back to 2000 and, uh, and end, when we launched the first edition of business plan competition and the first edition and uh, innovation project competition for students. During this period, mobilizing students was very, very complicated because it was based on voluntary. It's not mandatory classrooms, okay? So out of the 20 students, already just, just some were motivated and I had to walk corridor going to the students' rooms to wake up them to come to respect their engagement, to be take part the, the this challenge and to going to see his coaching, uh, his coaching purpose. So the engagement pace has matter of the fact that Ivan students of Master Strogi names is Pascal, walk off this year all the prizes of the both challenge competitions. He awarding among $150 in 2008. The next year in 2009, his projects at this stage of idea result by the creation of the business company who had taken the name 2ID, not 2IE, and also execute some service. Pascal has made some good post signs. After his stay as a country director for Sierra Group, a big company in engineering fields, he quest in 2016 another company in Ivory Coast. 
at uh, try each job success leads to boost the motivation of the student who from there just need to take part in the challenges. And the Sarah said to me, my feet could finally get a rest now. In fact, at YE, we adopt the vision to form engineering entrepreneurs. Before the EP uh, program, the dispositive is not well influenced. He said, OK, I, I, I think students say, me, I come to YE to become a strong engineer. I'm not coming here to, to learn management, leadership, entrepreneurship program. So when the YE joins uh, EP programs, the entrepreneurial dis 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 dispositive has been totally reviewed, has uh, reviewed and busted. For example, the regular classroom, regular classroom of management and uh, entrepreneurship passing around 10 percent, more 30 percent, as well of a school curriculum. Without another voluntary classroom for entrepreneurship. And the incubators, why incubators started with four incubators, and today we support each year 10 new projects in the Liquid Green Go. So uh, I propose with you some, uh, some experience that we had in the incubator launch. Lo so the first one is to identify an NDI. Because our incubator is, uh, is linked with our file of researches that are water and uh, sanitation, renewable energy and uh, electricity. And this uh, NDI um, facilitates to us to have a management staff like, like me and uh, technical staff like uh, some research of the water sanitation laboratory. The second one is to create and uh, federate a strong network our the incubator. Don't only cope on yourself to, because we have a many, a many lot of opportunities over there. So we, here in the YAPI program, we have uh, a community of practice. For some expertise, I can call those from uh, Pakistan to say that I have an uh, 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 incubator who need an, in, an expertise in agricultural. In our incubator, we, are not, we have not expert in agriculture. He can say, okay, I can link with you some professor on some expertise, you know? And uh, after that, we quite uh, switch his profile, profiles to conduct activity closely with incubators. From, um, to, to work with incubators, we don't have to, to need a teacher who say from the entrepreneurs, okay, uh, you have to do this, you have to do that, okay, no, no, you can say no. You have to work uh, very co co closely with entrepreneurs to, to, to permit them to say no is not the best way, me, I want, I want to see, I want to do this, you know? You have to, to, to record a smart, a smart, prof a, a smart profiles. The fourth one is to communicate and to keep aware of opportunity. From incubator is uh, very interesting to sometimes to make a big conference to communicate about the incubator, about the, the project that you, that you accompanied, and to participate with your incubator, another challenge of a businessman competition to win money from the project and after that to facilitate the financing of projects. And the last one is to be very, very, very careful on the profile of incubators. At YE, when we start in 2008, we have a very lack to record profile. So um, five years ago, now, we have all time a demand from students for external person to enter to the incubator because everybody now say this way work. If I create a project, I get my job. If I create business. If I put in the incubators, if he, he's like, I come going back to rejoin my background uh, files. You know, today we have a lot of demands. You can, you can uh, require some profile that is not the, he's not an M of entrepreneurs. When he started the project, he gets another job. He said, okay, I'm uh, closing the incubator. Uh, I'm closing my project. I'm going to work. We have some uh, two, two uh, examples in this case. 
Dr. Wikwat Pofin of Incubators, you have to, to check more the project and to check more the person who, who take uh, the project. So from uh, challenging experiences, the one is uh, creating and keeping a win-win link with uh, business angels in Africa, in our, our context. That is to say entrepreneurs or uh, private sector interested by a specific domain in uh, your incubator and waiting to take a week to buy funding startup in an early stage. Because uh, we can do, we can uh, find money in early stage with bank or with, uh, with investor. For the business angels, if he, can, uh, if he can give you some money, he can give you some uh, network, some expertise, some mentorship, you know? And the uh, last one is the finding a sustainable model for the incubator because it's a very, very difficult. If you say from the incubators, okay, so now you have to pay a, a money, a money to support the incubator. We have a perfect effect with the entrepreneurship uh, fight among the students. Thank you is uh, just my quick pitch. Thank you. So, I will now listen to Annie Tyrell, who is going to present to us mentorship in small and medium-sized small and medium-sized enterprises in Malaysia. Morning, everyone. I'm uh, Annie from Malaysia, from UKM. So I'm going to talk about mentoring. Just now, I'm talking about mentoring, but now it is more not only about the student, but also for our SMEs in Malaysia. If you look at these slides that I prepared for you, mentoring at SESMED is divided into four areas. Number one, of course, our precious is our students. So at UCAM, besides of we have our startup classes, we also have a program It is called Siswapreneur at PPRN. PPRN means Public Private Research Network, where the initiatives of MOHE, Ministry of Higher Education, they has this program, which is PPRN that I mentioned before, is to help those SMEs and micro, micro SMEs to grow. We know the micro SMEs, they don't have enough technology, they don't have enough fund to grow, to scale, to upgrade their products. So therefore, the SMEs will give the problems and then the problems will not, will be given to the, to the um, researcher and they, want, they will try to solve the problem. Can you go back to the previous slides? Okay. So what we do with the student is that under the CISWA Perno at PPR, and CISWA Perno means graduates Perno, graduates entrepreneur. So they go to the company because the company will only be helped by the researcher about the technology of the products or services. But these students are going to help them in terms of the management, the marketing, and how to do, uh, how to help them in terms of improving people to know about the products because the, the researcher is only take care or look into their products. And then we also have our startups. Of course, we mentor our startups. In the first project, in the CISO Perno at PPRN, the university role is to help the students to help the SMEs. Means that the university lecturers mentor the students to give advice or negotiate with the SMEs. And then in the red color is the SMEs. We work very closely together with the agencies or NGOs that helps the SMEs, which you have over there is Perda Sama and also Kusel. Kusel is Club Usahawan Slango in Malay, or in English we call it as uh, Slango Entrepreneur Club. 